One week left to the finish. In New Jersey, Sean and his teammates are putting in the long hours, completing their robot. What makes you think you have the best robot? It's fast and it's maneuverable. Are you feeling the pressure already? Uh, not yet, but I know last year when we were in finals, I could feel it. Their goal? Finish early and give Tanae, the driver, days to practice. Your classmates are all backing up. I wonder why. Do I, I do like this? No button. No just button, just push down. Yep. Okay, that's my right. That's my left. <laughs> I'm not sure I have it down yet. Oh, ooh, sorry. Let's back up, it's fine. <laughs> so now you know one of the pressures I face. Think you're gonna win? I think we're gonna win. <laughs> Only hours left until the robot must be completed. So gears on both sides, you still need to add the chain. This is equal to being for reinforcement. That and sounds like a lot for 24 hours. Maria's team is frantically checking wires and testing circuits. Six weeks of work comes down to this one moment. We're in good shape. Okay, okay number 11662205. Verified. Think you're gonna win? Yeah, I think we're pretty dangerous this year. <laughs> Especially dangerous because of their secret strategy. They've built a second identical robot. That means even after their robot is packed, they'll have a full month to practice. Most teams don't. Spring. And at 48 regionals across the country, thousands of teams are competing for a shot at the finals in St. Louis. Get to plug that in. Fine. This is ready to go. Robot. Maria's team has never built a winning robot. Could their secret strategy give them the advantage they need? I have really high hopes that we're going to win right now. <laughs> kids taking the top math and science classes is competing in the Pennsylvania Regional. They're excited to test their robot, number 1403. That's there for team 1403. Three, two, one, go! You guys score, we'll play defense. To play, three robots work together to form the red team. Another three make up the blue team. Back up, back up, back up. They score points by hanging tubes and deploying minibots get the most points, win the round. We got first, we got first. Both my parents came, my brother came, and my grandma and my other grandma and my grandpa all came. So it's just really great that they all came to support me. I'm so happy to see them all, and I got to show them my robot. It's like Moses up here. At Brian's Tennessee Regionals, he and his mom are anxiously watching their robot, 3675. And the arm isn't working. They can't hang any tubes, which means their robot can't score for the team. Can these first timers make a comeback? We can't score, we can't score. One of our wires popped. And then our limit switch broke. The wiring issue on the main box. Sean is on the pit crew. Their job is to fix the robot and get it back in the game quickly. Ready, lift. The robot is back in. But will the team score enough to make it to the finals? We hope we're going to win. We're not so sure, but we think we can. Gotta go through it. In Arizona, Maria's team must win the next two out of three matches to advance to the finals. Game one, easy win. But their robot is taking a beating. I thought it was that other robot when he turned around. It looked like a near head-on collision. Read the buzz this out. Yeah, drill a hole down the side. Back up and go forward. Go forward. Game two. Go, fire. Oh, no, you're not on. A loss. Everything hangs on game three. Uh, good luck. Three teams, three chances to go to the finals in St. Louis. 
who will make it.